Okay, so on this call, we're going to set up a Facebook custom conversion. And this is another, another, this is a major, major, major reason why most do not succeed with Facebook ads. They've never set up the custom conversion. Um, do you know what a custom conversion is? No. Okay, it's super, super simple. You have, you have, forget about the call confirm page. That's not really a page, right? That's a page, but it's not part of a funnel. That's, that's just exclude that one. All we have is this opt in and the thank you page, right? That's okay. all you need. That's all one needs. Open house, listing, buyer guide, seller guide, freaking whatever. It's two pages. That's all one needs. Two pages. Opt-in page, thank you page. Now, when you have these two pages and you start running ads, you got to you got to obviously let, let Facebook know, you know, when they click on the ad, where are they going? They're going to the opt-in page, right? When they click the ad, they're going to the opt-in page. But out of these two pages, Facebook also needs to know what's the main objective or Facebook also needs to know where's the funnel destination. As they go to opt-in page, where do they land next? Mm -hmm. That's the custom conversion. So the ultimate destination is the thank you page, right? We only have two pages. The ultimate destination is the, is the thank you page. And so setting up a custom conversion is just letting Facebook know which important, which, which page is the most important. Like they're both important, but it's the, it's the thank you page. Like I need people to land on that thank you page. If people can land on that thank you page, they, then I would have got a lead. Right. It's all about that thank you page. So Facebook needs to know that. They need to know that thank you page is the most important out of these two. And that's what we're going to do now. So um, so go to the ads manager, go to the ads manager, and we're going to simply um hover over. We're going to go to the the three lines to the left and then just click on events manager. And then and then over here to the left, we're going to hover over the triangle. So this triangle right here and go down to or click on it, I guess. Click on it. And then we're going to go to, um, yeah, get away, hover over it again, hover over the blue triangle. Okay, there we go. And then custom conversions. So custom conversions, create custom conversion. And then right here, um, go ahead and give it a name. This is buyer guide leads. So exactly like our custom audience, we set up a custom audience around buyer guide leads. That's also going to be the name of our custom conversion. So um, it's coming from that data source, that pixel. And so now just scroll down, select your own category, click that in blue, select your own category, and then hit the drop down recommended and come down to lead. So you'll see lead. And then just go ahead and paste in that thank you page link. I think you have it copied or or maybe not. Try pasting it. Yeah, perfect. So that's the, that's the thank you page link. So now just scroll. Uh, yeah, you can create. Yeah, go ahead and create. And so now we're going to go to web configurations. And then over here, we're going to just simply line it up if if we haven't already, which I don't think we did. Okay, cool. So click on your domain there. Yeah, 08. Okay, so click on that. Manage events. Edit. And then add event to the right. And then hit the drop down. Go to custom conversion. Yeah, you'll see it right here. Custom conversion. You can go off your custom conversion and you can go off your pixel, but we're going to go off a custom conversion. So hit that drop down, choose an event, and you'll see your custom conversion that you just named, Buyer Guide Leads, and then click on Apply. And then just, yes, I confirm these changes and apply. Okay, so now, now as you go and run conversion ads, because that's all we're going to be doing is running running conversion ads. So I'll show you where that's at. So click okay. And then let's just um, check the settings real quick. So click on your three lines to the left and go to business settings. And so over here, the um, let's just make sure everything is lined up. So data sources to the left, data sources, and then click on um, scroll down, click on pixels, because we just installed the pixel and then add assets. I think you have to, I think you have to connect the pixel to the ad account, I think. Add assets to the top, middle. Add assets to the right. Right here? To the right, add assets. Oh, I'm sorry, right here. Yeah, so, and then, yeah, so the ad account. So click on that circle for the ad account, add. So all we're doing there is connecting the pixel to the ad account, done. And then custom conversions to the left. See if we need to do anything to the custom conversions. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, cool, so refresh this page. Okay, yeah, we're good. I don't know why your custom conversion doesn't show here, but it, it, it's on the other page. 
So um, so hit the three lines to the left or at the top, and then go back to Events Manager, and then um, go ahead and go to your your call your which one is it? It's schedule your call now. Schedule your call now. That tab that's open. Schedule your call now, and just refresh mm -hmm. that page. That's the thank you page. So refresh this page, and then um, go back to the Events Manager. You can the yeah that one, and then hover over the the triangle to the left and click on Custom Conversions. Custom conversions, and now it's active. Perfect. So now, if when you go and run the ads, so three lines to the left, go to the ads manager. So, the brand awareness, the intro video, that was the only one that was that was brand awareness, the intro video, right? Intro video. That's the only one that went out. Um, um, where did it go? Come on. It's, it's, I think it was completed already. That's why. Okay. So just um. Oh wait, is it? I don't know. Just um. Hit the X. Um, X out of those at the top, you see, yeah, X out of that and then X out of the other one. There we go. Okay, so now whenever it's completed, just shade the blue to gray. So new page likes campaign, 2,700 likes, not bad. Okay, cool. So that's a good one. That was a good run. So just shade the blue to gray. So the ones that are completed, shade the blue to gray. That's it. And then and then click on the middle tab, ad sets. The middle yes. tab, these are our three tabs. So we have our three tabs. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so, this one. This so one, to the right, one. the middle one. Yeah, click on the middle one shade this to gray so always shade them to gray when when it's off got it okay so click on the third tab and do the same thing so you got to always work on these three tabs these are your three tabs okay, okay. So now uncheck the box and then just um click on the middle tab uncheck the box and then just come back to the first tab uncheck the box okay cool so the intro video that one is still in play okay cool so then okay so now just delete this top one this traffic one so check the box to the left of the traffic one. This one we just used as an example. Don't touch the intro video. Don't touch the intro video. Okay, where are we at? The box to the left of the traffic campaign, the one we just practiced. The Check the box to the left. No, not that's the likes, the new traffic campaign. Oh, the new traffic, sorry. Yeah, so hit the trash can, delete this one. Oh, we're deleting this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now as you go and run, so so intro video was the only brand awareness. That's the only time we're doing brand awareness. From our very next ad and on, it's always going to be conversions. So click on green, the green one. And then you're going to come over here to leads. It's always going to be leads. So it's always going to be leads. Continue. So now as we go and set up the next ad, categories, housing, and then go next. And so now as you come to the second tab, the second step, this is the ad set tab. Tab. This is where you're 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 choosing website, which is going to be a website, but then scroll down. This is where you'll see your pixel, and this is where you'll see your custom conversion. Okay. Right there. Now, sometimes that's not there. So X out of buyer guide leads, X out. Sometimes you come here and it's blank. Sometimes you come here and it looks just like that. It's red, it's blank. So all you do is just click. Find it, hit the drop down and find your custom conversion. You named it, so you should know what it what it's named. You named it. Got it. Right. That's a custom conversion. So it's in this step where we're telling Facebook that this second page, the thank you page, is where we're trying to drive traffic. Yes, they have to click learn more. Yes, they have to go to the opt-in page. Yes, they have to put in their name and email. But at the end of the day, this is the most important page. That's what we're telling them here. Got it. Get me people to land on that page. And that's it. So that's how you set up a Facebook custom conversion. Nice.